problem, I have the square root of 12 minus the square root of 18 minus the square root of 75. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot add and subtract radicals when they have, do not have the same radicand. We have to make sure that they are exactly the same. And I'll just prove my point real quick. The square root of 4 plus the square root of 9. Well, we know this answer is 5, right? 2 plus 3 equals 5. But if you were to add these up and you say, oh, well, that equals the square root of 13. Is the square root of 13 equal to 5? No. So we know that you cannot add them up. All right? So what we want to do is whenever we see a square, a, rat, um, a square root of a number, we want to see can we simplify it. And the best way to simplify it, and the quickest way, is to determine what is the largest square number that divides into our um, radicand that we can write as a product. So I look at 12, and I go just go through my square numbers. So does 4 divide into 12? Yes. Yes, evenly. So I can rewrite this as a square root of 4 times 3. Now let's do 18. Does 4 divide into 18? No. no. What about 9? Does 9 divide into 18? Yes. yes. So I can rewrite this as 9 times 2. Then we go to 75. Does 75 or does 4 divide into 75? No. no. Does 9 divide into 75? No. no. Five? Does 16 divide into 75? Yeah, 5 does, but 5 is not a square number though, um. right? Does 16 divide into 75? No. Yeah. Does 25 divide into 75? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you guys remember, the multiplication property of radicals states that when you have the product of a radical, you can now break that up into the square root of 4 times the square root of 3 minus the square root of 9 times the square root of 2 minus the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. Right? That, pro that allows you to do that. So there, do we know what the square root of 4 is? Two. Yes. 2 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 2 minus 5 square root of 3. Now, we've simplified this, and we notice that we have some common terms, right? If I have the same elements here, I know that I can combine them, all right? And when you combine them, you just add them up like, like you would with you know, x's. If I said 2x plus 2x, that equals? 4x. Um, 2 square root of 4 plus 2 square root of 4 is that's going to equal 4 square root of 4. Right? And let's prove that real quick. What is the square root of 4? 2. 2, two times 2 is 4 plus 4 equals the square root, so that's going to be 8, is equal to 4 times the square root of 4. Is that also equal 8? Yes. So you can see that that works. So therefore, 2 radical 3 minus 5 radical 3 is going to be negative 2 radical 3 minus 3 radical 2. Negative 3. Yes, it is. Thank you. So did I write my answer wrong then, Rachel? No, nope, that's right. OK. Yes? I actually got the greatest common factor. 